Hmm. Looks a little healthier than before.
Got it. The stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal.
Hey, hey! <clears throat> you gotta stop it with that. I just about punched you to snap you out of it. You were saying things, but they weren't any words I ever heard. <laughs> well, it's nice to feel needed. I'd have woke you sooner, but I thought it'd be nice for you to be able to close your eyes a bit. You're twitchy these days. Reminds me of Mayerwald more than I'd like. Anything I can do, you just let me know. Hey, say what you want about Dear Woodens, but they haven't met the problem yet that they couldn't solve by killing some scapegoats. Huh? Your mind comes bearing... Hmm? What? If doubts and cure... Huh. I suspect... Hmm? Please, stop. I heard about the riots in Defiance Bay, and the interruption during the hearing. This- I have not been entirely honest about my motives for traveling with you up to this point. When I finished my training in Adir, I was introduced to an organization. All I knew was that they were opposed to the unchecked spread of animancy, and that they could guarantee me postings far away from the Seathwood, my father and his Earl. In the early years, I thought of them as many things. Hooded men. Prudent teachers. The leaden key. Their rules were strict, but their guidance was clear. I sincerely believe they wanted to keep Kith from the folly of their own foolish ambitions. A senior contact met with me every few months to receive my reports and issue new leads. She sent me to Gilded Vale to keep an eye on events surrounding the local lord, but I lost track of her shortly after that. I don't know if she was reassigned, killed, or sacrificed the way you saw. I needed some kind of direction, and after that scrape with the locals, I was ready to get out of town. And I was correct, in a way. But what we found wasn't what I expected. I'm still not sure about Hanamancy, but I know I've been following the wrong master. Please, accept my apology, and my service. Let me fight with you to stop Theos. That would be an honor.
Yeah? No problem. The stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal. Hmm? Eh? Let's go! Yeah? Kind of stuck Ooh. over here. Ossek worth and rock. Ossek worth and rock.
Would you look at this? Would you look at this? There, done. Lavar. <laughs> <laughs> You cannot venture forth, weapon. Audra Arch, dead ahead.
Hmm? Done. Jim, look at this. Audra Arch, dead ahead. Got it. Got it.
something else. Let's go! Anyone suspected of treachery must be reported at once. Good, you have come. You have heard of the recent defections from our order caused by this... this apostate in Pretum. This is a dangerous woman whose lies spread like plague. Who she was no longer matters. If her following continues to grow, there will be war. You were recruited from Kratom, were you not? You must have known this heretic woman, Yavara. This is deeply troubling. She cannot be your sister. Not anymore. She has become something new and terrible to all of us now. I am trusting you to remain loyal to the gods in this. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. But you will answer to me as well. Sharp as steel.
I'll follow you. I always get a strange feeling near the end of a hunt. Like an itch on the end of my nose. I feel like we're close. I am. After all this time. A part of me had already accepted that I'd never find him. I'll admit, I didn't believe you at first. Still didn't until now. I haven't spent this much time around anyone since the long hunts in Nasitok. But I've gotten to know you, seen how you deal with Kith. Whatever else you turn out to be when we find Theos, you're honest. I know you wouldn't lead me astray in this. Good question. I guess that depends on who he is now. I'd like to think that traveling for five years entitles me to give him a solid earful about all of it. But what really matters to someone in Persok's position? The village he left behind? The family he likely won't remember? Must be lonely not knowing a thing like that. I guess I've taken that much for granted. Yeah? Hail, Estramore. Huh? On behalf of all Glonfathens, welcome to Twin Elms. Mind your manners, refrain from public intoxication, and don't mention your history of violating Anguithan ruins. Hail Estramore.
Another Estramor. What do you want? Few Estramoran are given the freedom of our sacred city. That you ask for this person is suspicious. There are reasons we don't let you Estramoran roam our sacred city. Looters have grown bolder at the sights of the builders. The people of Defiance Bay set fire to their own city. Permitting more strangers the freedom of the city is out of the question right now. You'd better explain yourself. There's no way you could have known this saying. Not unless you are a Galus on Anums, a Watcher of Souls. Feralt's warning came before the Broken Stone War. Feralt, my ancestor on my mother's side, was Anumfoth of our tribe then. Feralt believed that the invaders could be taught to respect the Builders as we do. He also believed the Builders' souls had spread to all peoples, and that we should avoid needless conflict with others. While Feralt's words were shrewd, they were ignored back then. Another Estramor came through here a few days ago and, well, letting him through was a mistake. One I am eager not to repeat. I won't repeat a mistake in my haste to correct it. We bar Twin Elms from Estramoran to protect the ancient places that the Builders left behind. The Builders left this heritage to us to defend, but they alone had access to it. These were the words given to the keepers of the stone. Very well. The city is yours to explore. Tell the guard at the gate that you come to see the cornerstone with the blessing of the guided compass. If the gods have truly returned one of the builders to us, find the Delamgon of Ter Evron in Elm's Reach.
The stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal. Looks a little healthier than before.
Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. Your mind comes bearing... There, there is no child to carry it. The Hollowborn, the Hollowborn have a future. They can be saved, and the Tells spoke of such. They can be saved, they must be saved. You have seen the beauty in childbirth. And what would you consider real, Watcher? The truth that was experienced and remembered? Or the one that burned out only to be swept under the rug and forgotten like ash from a fireplace? And how much of your own life has been lost to the error of memory? How many loves and betrayals were colored with the false hues of emotion? And what did you see in my memories? I would hear you speak of that. <laughs> 